don't listen to naysayers and don't read too much into it because I've talked to a bunch of people trying to start a business and they're like, oh, you know, I've been reading a lot and you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to, yes, you're going to learn all of this in the process. My name is Sandra Merai and I'm the co-founder of Luna Sundara and I'm from Chiclayo, Peru. Since I was little, I wanted to have my own business, but I, my focus was always Peruvian artisans and work with Peruvian fabrics. I wanted to work with alpaca and vicuña when I was much younger and I wanted to do fashion. But then as I was getting older, I started getting more involved in the spiritual world. In Palo Santo is something that I have used. I wanted to have this product and have access to this community and like have a reason to go to Peru constantly. So it worked perfectly. El Palo Santo es una madera que la utilizamos para saumar. También la utilizamos para correr mosquitos. Palo Santo, it's a tree. It's actually this tree grows in northern Peru and Ecuador, and it grows in the dry forest. So basically, every 10 to 20 years, the tree uh, dries and falls, and that wood that falls, um, people from the communities are able to pick it up, and it's. You know, this is how it looks, and we use it in Peru for for mosquitoes, for good vibes. We use it as incense, we use it for cleansing, to cleanse a new home, you know, for morning rituals, whatever that comes uh, with bringing the, the wellness in, we use this. There are so many artisans in Peru, so many producers that their products are, you know, they're able to sell it in Peru, they're able to sell it locally, but I, I know that there's so much potential for these drugs to go uh, overseas, to come to the American market, to go worldwide. And my idea was always to go to different communities and tell them, you know, you can you can do more, you can help more people in the community. You know, if you have 10 people working for one product, you can have now 20 people, 30 people, 100 people from this community and the idea was always to be able to export their products and expose their art to the world. When Luna started, I tried to apply for a bunch of jobs for a year because I was like, okay, if this doesn't work out, at least I need some money to continue running it. Then I realized no one's gonna do it for me. I have to do it myself. And even though I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really making any money, and it's, I'm struggling. I'm gonna continue doing it until, you know, I can't do it anymore. So the challenges were not just with Luna. Were just on my own as a person trying to uh, find a job that would that could support me while doing Luna while doing my company. I never got a loan and I know to start a company like this, we needed like a big start, but I'm kind of blessed by not having that because it, it taught me so much. For instance, we started a company with like less than $3,000 and we just, we did our own website, we were customer service, we did photos, videos, we bought the product, uh, you know, small, small quantity and you know, it took us longer than it would take another company or another person with like a big, with a bigger like a amount of money. But it was great. Um, we learned everything because now we know every single part of the uh, process, and we do how, we know how to do everything. So just not knowing how to do anything was was great because it teaches you a lot. In the future, I would like to work with more communities in Peru, Ecuador, and all of Latin America. And the way I want to do it is obviously, I want to go to these countries and stay for a bit and learn. I don't want to have like a middleman. I don't want to, I don't want to end up, you know, just trading with someone that I don't know how they're trained the communities. My goal would be to travel to all of these countries and find art and work with these communities. Don't listen to naysayers and don't read too much into it because I've talked to a bunch of people trying to start a business and they're like, oh, you know, I've been reading a lot and you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to, 
yes, you're gonna learn all of this in the process. Don't don't think about like five year plan. People are like, oh, you know, do you have, when I started the world, like, do you have a business plan? I'm like, no, I'm just going with the flow. People are like, well, you need a business plan. You need like, oh, you need to do, have this. You need to know this. I'm like, you don't. Just don't don't stress too much over it and just do it. And little by little, you will figure it out. <laughs>